All right, good old sip of water. Let's hit new game. What right, difficulty is this? If you enjoy the story more than combat, in story mode is enemy have less health, less damage. Normal recommended mode for the first play session. In normal mode, enemies have standard health and damage. That sounds good to me. Mode players who are looking for an extra challenge in hard mode, enemies have more health and more da do more damage. It just means they're spongier, and I don't like that. I don't like bullet sponges as just the difficulty. Supernova mode is the hardest difficulty and can only be selected at the start of the game. It's recommended for advanced players. Supernova mode adds additional challenges to the game. Does the difficulty computer reduce cannot be re-enabled. Enemies have more health and deal more damage. You must eat, drink, and sleep to survive. Oh, it becomes a survival game. Companions can die permanently. That's interesting. I would like to have that without all the other stuff on top of it. Crippled body and limb conditions can only be healed with bed. Oh, it has limb conditions. Interesting. Uh, weapons and armor work very poorly at zero durability. I would like that in normal mode. You can only fast travel to your ship. That's interesting. Uh, you can only sleep inside your ship, and you can only manually save while inside your ship, and autosaves are limited. Hmm. I'm going with normal. Conversation. Yeah, I'm just keeping all these subtitles, including good boy subtitles. Thanks for noticing that arc. And my chat disappeared. Nikki is here! Hello, Nikki! He back! Oh, what game is this? This is Outer Worlds. <laughs> Supernova is... It is. No. No. I'm gonna play Supernova. Not today. Ooh. Ah, uh, the computer loads too fast. I can't read it. Earthbound, when prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. The company is actually seeing this, whoever's in the office. I'm gonna turn off cinematic. I think that's what that was. That shows what's already written on screen. Turn that, that off. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever, just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. It is time to spend. 20 hours building a character. <laughs> Alright, strength affects melee weapons, damage, and amount you can carry. Oh, that's a huge deal. Amount you can carry. Dexterity effect. Oh, I should read the rest. Affected skills. Handed melee. Handed melee too. Heavy weapons. Block. Inspiration. Intimidate. <laughs> oh no, my computer works too well. <laughs> Pretty much. So this is like Fallout in space? Yes. It's like Fallout in space. But better than Fallout nowadays, am I right? Am I right? Oh, let's get political here. Game politics. Uh, Tasha! Whoa. Thank you. So everyone, we now have two people here that have 
had great, great influence, impact, both, on this here moment happening. This here moment, um, uh, being Nikki and Tasha, Kendiara, for everyone in the chat. They helped me a lot, as I explained earlier in the stream, they helped me a lot, uh, in getting the computer. So, thank you, Tasha. Thank you, Nikki, for helping me purchase, uh, you know, get the money together with the, the fundraiser and shipping, shipping it over and everything. So, thank you very much. It, I, I said it before, I, I'll say it again, I'm incredibly happy and I, it's still something that I still kind of don't believe. It was able to happen, and yeah, thank you very much. Uh, John, John, thank you too. <laughs> I was gonna, I was actually gonna message every person that I know that helped, and I'm still going to do that. But then now I'm streaming. <laughs> we weren't scary evil people. No, you're never scary evil people. You're the best people. And yeah. Just great friends I I have made along these last few years. And thank you. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you, John, for building helping building the computer and installing stuff on it. And yeah. Yeah, everything. Everything that has led to this point. I I can't thank everyone enough. I really can't. And yeah. <laughs> Hyper's character making everyone's favorite part. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a lot of time. I like I li okay, so Nikki, this is very interesting. I have I have a bot on. And it doesn't let Ark swear. Doesn't let him say even like medium kind of sweary words, but you just said shit. And it, it doesn't care. <laughs> doesn't care. <laughs> it, it's probably very painful, Nikki. It's probably very painful. You have a bot on? So yeah, I have the, the Streamlabs bot. On, and I just turned it on because, uh, but it, the bot has only gone after guys so far. Hmm. I wonder if it would go after me. Turn the swear thing off. I, I don't know how. Is this... I, I literally don't know how. <laughs> I So, okay. I turned it on around March. Just to see, because it was a new feature in Streamlabs OBS. And they switched bots since then. The app doesn't have Streamlabs bot anymore. It has CloudBot. So I legitimately don't know how to turn it back off. <laughs> and I probably will after the stream when I sit down and like look into it. But I, because you know, the only way to know what's activated on something I have no, no more access to is, you know, seeing its settings, but I can't see it. Um, I have no clue how to get it going again. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I've already spent too much time just looking at this first thing. Um, I can ca carry eight kilos. One hundred kilos. Wait, how high can I go? Excellent cellular integrity. Not likely to liquefy. <laughs> Right. Let's see. 
Dexterity affects melee attack speed and ranged weapon reload speeds. And it melee handguns. I love playing with handguns. If they have revolvers, laser revolvers, oh, I'm a, I'm a revolver person. Dodge, block, sneak. Yes, I love these. Yes. Yeah. Okay, melee weapon attack speed, ranged weapon reload speed. Intelligence. Intelligence affects critical hit bone. Oh, it's like Fallout. I haven't seen anything about this game. I have not seen extended gameplay. I've just seen, you know, the normal trailers. But the little sentences that I've seen from reviews and stuff, it's like Fallout done right and what Bethesda should be doing. It's all the stuff that made, makes me incredibly excited for this game as a Fallout 2 fan, like the old Fallouts. Uh, this is very exciting. It's like a catalog of mediocrity. <laughs> I wonder if he says that because of this. Oh, you know what? I could just do this. And he's good with everything, but I'm probably... Can I make him worse? I bet you could thaw yourself with sheer rage. Temp... Oh! I... Do they have one for every... Slippery fingers. You'll need to be careful handling those chemicals. Interesting. Interesting. That's all right, friend. I'll be the brains for both of us. I wonder... Oh, Obsidian Fallouts and Fallout 1 and 2. When you were stupid, you got, like, stupid answers. Someone made a note that you're oblivious to flirtation. Uh, that's interesting. I do want to see that. Some people are rough around the edges. You're serrated. <laughs> Min max all the way. <laughs> yes, I will. This one could twist a marauder's head off. I really like how they did this with the guy just commenting on the choices you make. I, I'm only on the first page, and there's already. It's the attention to detail, and that's immediately very, very interesting to me. All right, let's keep reading this. Intelligence affects critical hit bonus damage. Long guns. Oh, like a long cat. Persuade. Hack. Medical. Science. Determination. <laughs> what is this? Uh, Undertale. Perception. Affects headshot and web weak spot damage bonuses. Interesting. Handguns. Again with handgun. Long guns, heavy weapons, dodge, lockpick, engineering, bonus extra headshot. Nice. Some of the dumb stuff is amazing. There are, there was one person who was like, they have soft, they have a soft heart, and it was asked if you could get a doctor to fix that. <laughs> it's pretty good. <clears throat> Very original Fallout. Decisions, this is. Decisions, decisions. Uh, I'm on the first screen, and I'm I'm getting so excited. Charm affects faction reputation and companion ability cooldowns. That's interesting. Persuade, lie, intimidate. I think I'm going to put some points into this. Science, inspiration, companion ability refresh, positive faction reputation reaction, negative effect. So it goes down. You've been commonly described as odious and boorish. I'm definitely putting one there for now. I'll see what else I'm going to do. Temperament improves your natural health regeneration. It's, it's really cool that they let you lower it because there's you literally no good thing computer to find your temper. other than fun. <laughs> Lowering it does nothing other than add fun to the game and allow you to be able to min-max things, which I might do later. <sighs> Temperament improves your natural health regeneration, affects two-handed melee, lie, sneak. I want to be good at sneaking, though. I'm going to increase this. I'm going to increase this. Oh, I just want to increase everything. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with. Oh, but it, it's good for sneaking. No, I don't care. I'm not. I'm gonna not. Hmm. 
I... There's a few things that I always miss when I'm playing these games. And it's the ability to fix things. Hack medical science, which I think is science. And the ability to hack things like lockpick and stuff. But I definitely want these two. To be good. It's kind of an issue in some sense that it's hard to choose if all the skills oh, attributes are useful. It's leave. true. But I think that makes it kind of exciting for a first playthrough because you go in and you built something and you have no idea how good those are going to be. Maybe the sneaking skill sucks in the game and you're stuck with it. You're very good at sneaking, but it's useless. It's kind of it's kind of like real life <laughs> tier. You have this incredible skill, but it's completely useless in society. <laughs> you know, like um, clapping with one hand. Imagine if the world revolved around people that could clap with one hand. I'd be the god <laughs> of this world. <laughs> because, you know, clapping with one hand, incredibly useful. But it could be. It could be useful. Let's see. Uh, what do we have here? They had some somewhat similar thing in Pillars of Eternity. Oh yeah, they're the Pillars guys. Sneaking in Skyrim was no fun. In your, yeah, it was just press a button to stealth and just inch forward forever. You would spend hours just doing that. The thing is, mm, 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 I'm gonna be wimpy. Must oh, but it's carrying capacity. That's so huge for these games. <laughs> I'll leave it at average. Uh, I'll add to intelligence. Into this, because I think it's going to allow me to have more options to talk. I think this is what I'm going with. <laughs> Go full melee. <laughs> uh, I think this is it. This is going to be my... Next. 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 Alright. I have two points. Oh, this is... Oh, this is just like old Fallout. Yes. All right. So melee? Can I just add two melee? Whoa! Interesting. You can. I might have a job for you. Oh, okay. I thought you had the option to either add to a section or to a specific one. This is very interesting. So it's by hand. Each of your hands has a different has a different power level. This is interesting. That so I am right now. I am right-handed. My left hand sucks <laughs> in comparison to the, my right hand. Interesting. I wonder if you can change that. Huh. Handguns, yes. I'm never going to use this. Watch this become the best thing. But I rarely use defense in any of these games. Dialogue. Oh, dialogue is fun. Mm, tech is fun. Oh, 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 oh. Determination. Okay, what does determination do? It increases the maximum health of your companions. Hmm. Novice companion abilities can order companions to do special attacks. Companion gain plus 20 armor. Ooh. So this is for your guys. Inspiration does damage inflicted by your companions. You can order companions to do special attacks. Interesting. All right. Oh, so this is... Okay. Hmm. Medical. Okay, let's just read them. I'm, I don't know why I just skipped all of them. All right. So these are the same, right? Sweep attack. Unlock power and sweep attack. 40. Unlock TTD location hit effect. Oh, that's. 
That's... I'm just getting sad about Fallout. Uh, <laughs> Two-handed melee weapon are unlockable. Two-hand melee weapons, TDD drain, minus 50%. All right. Handguns. Unlock TDD location hit effects. Handguns decrease weapon sway. Oh, just like in New Vegas. Ooh, I really like the inaccuracy of the weapons in that game. That's one thing I enjoyed. I know it sounds weird, but I, but I definitely enjoyed the inaccuracy. Uh, unlock TDD. Da -da -da. And gun critical damage plus 50, minimum armor penetration damage plus 10%. Uh, debuffed enemy critical chance plus 20, and gun critical. I wonder if it's the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. No. Deadly focus, no weapon sway for five times after kill. Long gun critical hits ignore 100% armor. Oof. Long guns decrease weapon sway while firing rifles and other long guns, and also increase critical hit chance. Heavy should be critical hit increase rate of fire. Dodge. <laughs> kind of tempted to buy this game now. Honestly, I know we're just in the <laughs> skill picking. If I saw this, <laughs> I would be too. <laughs> uh, defend. Dodge increases distance traveled while dodging. Oh, reduces... I can just be Link from <laughs> the N64 games. Just roll everywhere. Unlocks the ability to leap. Dodge, recovery speed. 30% rolling. Rating. Uh, after dodge. After dodging, your next melee attack gains damage plus 50. Eh. Still dodging. Still dodge. It's still just dodging. Uh, the block provides bonus armor rating. Hmm. And holding a melee weapon and can allow perfect block unlocked at 20. And, uh, perfect block. Just, okay. Block just before you get hit to stagger your enemy. I feel like these are useful, blocks especially, is useful for melee players. This is an interesting... No weapon durability, less unless in perfect block. No, no weapon durability, loss on a perfect block. Uh, perfect blocks weaken opponents, increasing the damage they take by 100%. Okay, also, I'm looking at these. <laughs> it's probably going to be like 30 hours before I get one of these. <clears throat> a dialogue improves your ability to talk to NPCs. Oh, I should have read these. Okay, okay. Uh, melee skills improve critical hit chance with handheld weapons. Each point melee significantly increases one and two. Da -da -da, scale up to 50 points each after 50. Specialized by adding points directly to one hand. Interesting. So then you can specify which arm you want. Be good. Ranged skills improve weapon sway, critical hit chance with ranged weapons. Each point is ra in range significantly increases handgun, long gun, and heavy weapon skills up to 50 points each after 50 by adding to specific ones. Nice. Defense. The defense skills improve your ability to avoid damage. Each point defense in defense significantly increases dodge and block skills up to 50 points. So interesting. So it always goes up to 50 and then something then you can specify. Dialogue. Dialogue skills improve your ability to talk to NPCs. I'm definitely going for that. Both in and out of combat. In combat? Yes! I want to talk to people and be like, yo, I don't want to fight you. If, you, if you're going to make me fight you, I'm going to fight you, but I don't want to fight you. Let's talk. But they were just like, oh, I'm a marauder now. I'm just going to kill you. It In all these games, all these... RPG action games, Skyrim, Fallout. I get to to a place that has this interesting story being told by the environment. And I'm like, I want to talk to you. Please don't hit me. I want 
I want to engage. I want to, I want some of this, you know, some exchange of information. What if you can become their allies? But no, you can't talk to your enemies. You just got to shoot them. So this, this makes me very, very excited, both in and out of combat. That's very interesting. Each point in dialogue significantly increases persuade, lie, intimidate skills up to 50 points each. After 50, you can specialize. Wow, I'm talking so much. I haven't talked this much <laughs> since the beginning of the year. Oh, I already have one of the base skills unlocked for this. Dialogue skill, persuade. The persuade skill is used in conversation and also has a chance to inflict cower. Ooh, crippling fear when you first damage a human target. So I already have that. For three seconds after the first time you hit them. Interesting. Uh, cower duration seven seconds. Coward target armor minus 50. Human coward chance 10% plus 10%. When a human cowers, you gain plus 25 armor for 25. That's interesting. So this affects interesting. So this is another thing, right? These aren't just talking for talking. This has actual effect in battle. That's really cool. It's not just persuasion as we know it. It's also a combat ability. The lie skill is used in conversations and has a chance to inflict scramble. Now, s slowly attack allies. Interesting. On an auto mechanical. Int so they affect different types of enemies. Okay, scramble. It's 15 chance. Oh. <laughs> this game. I'm I'm getting so excited to play this. <laughs> uh, scramble duration, auto mechanicals attack on their at their normal speed. Their own friends. Okay, scramble chance plus ten percent. Scramble auto mechanical weapon weak spot damage plus thirty. I also like that it isn't just copy and pasted from each one. It's different. Intimidate. Using conversation has a chance to inflict terrify. Flee for a short time. Flee a short time. You buy creatures when you kill one. Terrify, 20% creatures becomes terrified. Da, da, da. Terrify area of effect plus 100%. Terrify creatures movement speed minus 30. Creatures uh, terrify chance plus 10%. Terrifying a creature gives 10 seconds crit chance. Blah, 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 blah. Crit. Stealth. Skills improve your ability to get through and around security. Each point and sell significantly. Ah! Uh, a billion messages just came in. Alright. Put it on silent. Each pair of uh, significant inc increases sneak hack. Da da da. Can specialize. Alright. Sneak. Sneak reduces your detection range while crouched. Increases NPC red awareness decay. Interesting. It allows pickpocket. Sneak. If it's anything like the original Fallout, it's the most broken thing ever in that game. You would just pickpocket didn't work. Pickpocket didn't work. Pickpocket worked. And you would just, you know, quick quick load the game <laughs> i didn't do that i don't know what you're talking about attack unaware enemies while crouched to deal bonus damage yeah this is definitely going to slow down the game a lot pickpocket steal from humans while sneaking crouch move hmm The hack skill reduces hacking time and number of bypass stunts needed for hacking. Oh, 
got a bit. Hey, thanks, huh? You're now my top bidder. Thanks for the biddies. Uh, unlock access restricted items in event. Ooh, hack. This reminds me of of Bioshock. Uh, hack auto mechanicals. Turn them off for three seconds. I wonder how much time is gonna be important because three seconds is nothing in real world terms. But I wonder if there's something that you can manipulate time and make this way more valuable. What is this game again? I know it was said by this is Outer Worlds by the creators of the original Fallout and many other games. Pillars of Eternity, right? Arc. Um and also Fallout New Vegas, if for the newer Fallouts after Bethesda took took the the rights. Um they made quite a few Tyranny was them, I think. I think they did Tyranny. Um, there, there's, there are other ones, but they're usually held in high regard as makers of incredible RPGs, or at least good RPGs. Um, back auto mechanicals, detecting range minus 30%, nice. Oh, so once again, hack affects more of the auto mechanicals um while sneak is more on humans this has a an increased range increase um effect increased ability on sneaking so there's like cross <laughs> cross pollination <laughs> that's what i wanted to say but they cross over there is Skill crossover between each one, I like that. Hack auto mechanical distance plus two point five meters. Oh, the category is still just chatting, isn't it? Oh yeah. Hey, thanks, Bronto. Brit. Come on, Firefox. Do your thing. Mm -hmm. Outer Wilds? No! Get out of here! I'll have to write the whole thing. Outer Wilds. Alright, should be fixed now. Thank you. Thank you, Pronto. Obsidian made Pillars of Eternity, Tyranny, New Vegas, KOTOR 2. Oh, yeah, they made Nice of the Old Republic, too. Neverwinter Nights 2, Alpha, Alpha Protocol. I heard a lot about that game, but I didn't know they made it. Dungeon Siege 3, South Park, Stick of Truth. They made that? That's really cool. That's really cool. I didn't know that Ubisoft got them to make it. Um, by the way, I also love the color palette so far. Just because it's also very Bioshocky, and I love the, uh, the colors in that game. Uh, wait, I was still lockpick. Lockpick is lockpicking, right? Unlock the time and number of mag picks needed for picking locks. The number of mag pick unlocks are f interesting. Find twenty five percent more bits in containers. Interesting. Lockpick preview. See what's inside the lock. That's huge. That's huge. Lock picking speed increase to be nearly instant. Find pristine item chance plus one hundred percent. Interesting. I wonder if there is a mini game or if it's just a percentage thing then to to successfully lock pick something. Because if you're lock picking nearly instantly. It makes me feel that you're just waiting for it to happen. Tech. 
Deck skills improve knowledge of bodies, tools, and the universe. Medical. So, from reading about stealth in this game, it seems to be similar to Skyrim. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Makes, makes, makes a man think. Medical. Skill increase heal amount provided from items in the inhaler. What's that? Is that a, is that a thing I should know about? This is the duration of effects open extra slot. Unlocks the second drug mixing slot. Was this something I should already know about? <laughs> Third drug mixing slot. Interesting. So the drug drug mixing and inhalers are going to be a big a big thing here if you go this route. Interesting. Look, fourth drug mixing. Hostile effect duration of the targets plus 50. Uh, oh, interesting. So there's probably buffs and debuffs on all of them. I wonder if there are going to be some like really weak um, medical thing, drug drugs that you take that won't have negatives to them, or if all of them are going to have some offset. Hmm. Hmm. Science. Science skill increases damage of plasma and shock damage weapons. Science also improves the special effects of science weapons. Higher science skills unlocks the ability to tinker. Oh, yes. I love tinkering on stuff in real life and in games. One of the first things I did when I got the computer was to open it up and just rebuild it for fun. Because, <laughs> you know, that's what I do. Uh, improves your weapon and armor in the workbench. Nice. This is huge. Tech, the tech branch. Pretty, pretty huge. Uh, tinkering costs minus 50%. Uh, corrosion damage, whoa. N-ray damage, whoa. Uh, tinkering cost, science weapons is capped. So it's not capped. Further reduced tinkering cost to minus 90%. Chris! Chris! You tricked me, you said you wouldn't show up. Here you are. Here you are. Thank you for showing up. Hello. Inspiration skill increases damage inflicted to by your companion. Okay, we did read. Companion abilities or companions to do. Yeah, okay. Improve the companion health and their abilities in combat. We have two of these. I, I am also reconsidering the attributes. Uh... <laughs> We're going back, boys. <laughs> um, actually, I might not, because sneaking is still going to be good for lockpick. It's still good for a lot of other things, but to have a little bit of sneak is good if I have, like, say, a sniper rifle. I can still, you know, get down very quietly without anyone noticing I am bang. So I'll, I'll leave it like this, because I don't have a huge focus on it, I don't think. Yeah, uh, I think I'll leave it as is, just because it still affects most of the things I like. And this one that does affect it, I'm leaving it at um, average. Okay. My son, how's your new sleek beast? Oh man, let me tell you about my new sleek beast. It's really, it's running really well. Except Resident Evil 2, which it went to 20 frames per second second so i don't know <laughs> but other than that yes it was it was very good so i'm definitely doing dialogue Someone with a talent for exploiting insecurities it's a way to put it that's a way to put it oh what else someone with a talent for exploiting insecurities okay that's all you say all right i might go Hmm. <sighs> How much I feel like I'm gonna be shooting a lot of things, but I feel like tech that's huge. 
I can I can create buffs. I can give myself buffs with medical. But am I going to get addicted, just like in the old fall? I'm going with tech. At last, a kindred spirit. Let's go. Oh, just like in oh, just like in Fallout. <laughs> no discernible aptitude. Colonist sounded like a nice entry-level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity's reach by civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You had the rest of your life to decide how to be useful in Halcyon. Plus one determination. Halcyon uh, beverage service technician. The Halcyon colony needs good people, but will settle for ones who can mix a um, mess... A memorable drink. As a human cocktail shaker, you made concoctions that could end wars or fuel drivers. You're, st you're still trying to balance out the flavors of a truly signature old-fashioned, though. Drink effect duration plus 3%. I love these. These add so much flavor to your character. Well, not so much, but they add a good amount of flavor to your character, and I, I really like that. Um, uh, bureaucrat, rank zero. I wonder if you can rank up or if that's it. You're just rank zero. <laughs> the universe operates on laws. Laws that, am I too loud? Laws that require paperwork. Halcyon is no exceptions. If something isn't stamp filed, unfiled, reference redacted, certified, indexed, and numbered, then it might as well not exist. Birth certificates included. <laughs> Plus one block. Good at blocking. Uh, n cashier, subgrade, non-supervisory. <laughs> no transaction is finished without a smile. You live for the kachunk of a bit cartridge getting inserted right side up and redemption of loyalty points and the promise of a good day. Come back real soon. Bye bye now. And are more than empty words. <laughs> They're a promise and a standard you intend intend of carrying to a to the frontier. I like these. <laughs> I like how these are written. Construction elect electrician class wire spooler. Contrary to popular belief, capable management is an art form. Something about. Hiding electrical wiring behind panels to maximize airflow. Oh, yes, that speaks to me. Uh, just makes you sigh with relief. Oh, it kind of did. Colonists don't need to worry about the bypasses and workarounds that keep the power flowing. That's your burden. That's your burden to shoulder. Shock damage received minus 3%. Interesting. Some of the character creation elements also remind you of Arcanum. I don't know Arcanum. Huh. That's interesting. Because honestly, all of this feels very like classic Bioshocky to me. Interesting that you say that. Arcanum. Did you mention Arcanum as one of their games? It's not. So I'm guessing. Interesting. Tell me more about it later, Ark. Kind of curious. Elevator operations specialist. A proper lift goes up and down. Anyone who thinks otherwise isn't fit to wear a badge. This elevator only goes up, kid. No going down. Get to the last floor. People are just like, please. Please let us down. Sir, there's stairs. We don't take stairs. Uh, being a specialist means something where you come from. A commitment to upward and downward mobility that doesn't have a price tag. Aptitude engineering plus one. You know, <laughs> you know, this is not bad. 
factory worker conveyor operator. Safety and efficiency don't always go hand in hand, which is why so many of your co-workers at the factory were amputees. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you survived the trenches of the assembly line long enough to know when a hydraulic press just wants to pancake some fingers. Thankfully, you managed to keep all of yours. Dodge plus one. Armor. Dirt. You get into this business for the, for the tubers? Oh, for the tuber. But you stayed for the plowing, planting, pruning, and plucking. It isn't honest, if, it isn't honest work if you, oh, okay. I thought I was saying it isn't honest work, like, wait a second. If you come from home clean, worms need dirt and food need worms. You're just, I can't, doing your part for the worms. I can't read with the, with this ring behind it. Food additive tester. Sometimes quality control means sampling a delicious, bo borst, borst? Smoothie, but most of the time it means swallowing toxins until you find one that stays down. You love a good surprise now that your stomach lining has the consistency of a broken in saddle. It's easy to explore your cul 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 culinary limit. Food effect duration plus 3%. Janitor sanitation class. You spend your evenings kneeling over omin ominous stains with a bottle of caustic solvent and an absorbent rag. How the blood got there is irrelevant. Above your pay grade and beneath your interest. You're an artist of erasure when you... Is this sneaking? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> when you're on the job, there's no trace to be found. Corrosion damage received. Okay. Toss ball team mascot. I love that these are the the jobs that you had before. There isn't a problem in all the cosmos that a team spirit and big stick couldn't so solve together. Your la last major head injury in the field knocked some extra cheer into you, <laughs> and you've been risking. Ri been a rising star in tossball competitive mascot food chains ever since. It doesn't matter that no one know your face under the mask. You share the glory with the team. Inspiration plus one. Medical technician, junior grade. Prior to leaving Earth, you earned the trust of the medical community's most esteemed junior surgeons. <laughs> you who entrusted you with stuffing cotton balls into p uh, pill bottles. Experience on the job made you realize that diagnosing illness doesn't take a formal education when a search terminal and a little imagination will do the trick. Plus one medical. <laughs> nice. Safety inspector. In your line of work, the corporation's bottom line needs, yeah, needs more protection than its personnel. Guardrails aren't free, thermal shielding needs replacing, and a hatch that seals reliably is a luxury. Thermal shielding needs... Oh, okay. I thought... Never mind. You're on the vanguard of ensuring that every possible expense is spared since corners. I wonder if I can make the font bigger. It's kind of small. Ooh, Arkham of Steamworks and Magic Obscura from 2001 was the first game by Troika. Some of the people involved with this game were also Troika people. Interesting. I didn't know that. Know that. Been doing other stuff. Is this the longest character creation meth method ever? Yes, it is. You have to read everything and indulge in every word. Hmm. Since <clears throat> corners don't cut themselves yet, 
You prefer to think of workplace accidents as happy little coincidences. Aww, oh, I thought he was going for a Bob Ross there. Lots of damage received, minus three. Uh, we haven't even gotten to appearance. <laughs> yes. All right. Scientist level, assistant level. Wow, I can't read. You've cleared out enough test tubes to develop a keen instinct for what goes in them and why. Maybe you didn't get in this business to mop up the leavings of failed experiments. Failed experiments, but that's just part of the job. Even if you can't unsee what happens in the lab, you can at least learn from the mistakes and enjoy some colorful nightmare. Science plus one. I might take that. Sub sous chef. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's the ability you get for this? The hierarchy of a modern kitchen is ladder is a ladder of many rungs. Uh, your role as a as assistant to the second deputy chef's aide is one of middling distinction, but you are honored to pour your heart into the ritual, emptying the grease pans and the backbreaking labor of gravy restoration. restoration? You're holding out for that advancement of to poultry inspection, which is due in a year now. All right, I think I really like this one, the science plus one. Um, that's pretty good too. I can pick one. I'm guessing. Well, yes. you are technically assisting me. I would either go with. This one. Handled bits for a living, huh? But I think Pillars of Eternity was slightly more complex and also could be done multiple times throughout the game. Interesting. Class A. Oh, right. Test subject. Yeah, I'm going with this. Oh, the shape is, face is showing up. Interesting, interesting. I'm gonna do what I always try to do first and then give up. I'm gonna try to make myself. Oh, you have presets. Don't. No, you don't. <laughs> All right. Squidward kind of knows what's going on there. I like it. I like it. I wonder which one I should should start on. Do I? Do I look like this guy? Definitely don't. Here we go. Here we go. It's X to randomize. Yes, I love this one. <laughs> oh, this is great. This, there's so many weird options. I love this. <laughs> it's true. I do look a lot like this. Oh. I really like that the randomizer uses any of the options. How tired are you of just seeing like, oh, you can only have guy hair on, on your random thing. Nosebleeds? You just keep pressing this button. Or 
forever. <laughs> that guy looked like uh, the guy that used to play Hellboy. Oh, there's some... Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so it maintains the changes, so you can look what that preset looks like. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. And then those be bigger? It increases the mustache. I don't know why I'm messing with this guy. I'm probably not, not going to keep him. Oh, is this a guy? It's not a guy. See? I am a bad example. Assume this was a guy, not a guy at all. Who am I? Who am I to judge? Hmm. One. That reminds me of a, a hairstyle. I, I mean, it's pretty much in every game, but specifically reminds me of Femship Bun. <laughs> Alright, says I often talk about my first Oblivion character, a wood elf with maximum chin. Kind of a shame I never managed to do similar one again. <laughs> I think I'm getting an idea here of how I want this character to be. Interesting, so it becomes interest. Mm. So the same presets change. It looks a lot more kissy as, as a dude. Like, mm. I know what I'm gonna make. I know. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, let's put everything back to default. I know, I know what's, what's gonna happen here. Okay. the face I think it was one of the this one has I think this will be a good base I'll mess with color at last It was funny when I put a hood on the character from the side and there was just a long chin coming out. <laughs> That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I love making like, weird characters. My favorite one was one I made for, for Dark Souls because Dark Souls has an incredibly ridiculous character creation tool. And I loved it. <laughs> and uh, I never finished a game with that character. And I hope to one day, because I, I got it down to a science how to remake that character in any of the any of those games. So I do want to one day finish finish a a game with them. Okay. These aren't really Oh. Hmm. Tiny eyes, Magoo. Okay. This is actually going to have to wait because I'm going to add... Some other... He looks too normal. How did the character creation do it to make him look super weird? 
We're getting there, we're getting there. Right now, only his n nose is weird. Oh, I, I wanted to make his face rounder. Granted, I did pick a very jaw. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay, so that only does that. Cheers? How did they do it? To, hmm. That's. Maybe. Do we not get any round, rounder faces? Like some of these have rounder faces. Is it just with female? They get rounder faces? <laughs> Putting the, the sliders to either extremes, probably the, the key. You're probably right. All right, all right. Just leaving the colors as they are. Oh, there's a beard in the way. All right, let's see if we can if we can get some of the extremes here. Just pushing everything to one side. Then let's we'll see the the presets. Okay, okay. It doesn't let you go too crazy. Kind of. <laughs> Some of these guys have quite the nose. I want to see the other way. Is that? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I think this might be the better side. That's kind of a... Michael Jackson feel to it, the note. No. I really like the big nose. I think it looks great. Get down. I'm a fan of the big nose. Yeah, it looks pretty good. He's like, huh? what's going on? That was not a good voice at all. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of partial to, to that guy, to this guy. You look like a blobfish. <laughs> look like a blobfish like this. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'd say extreme nose are straight up unrealistic. You know what? I think you're right. I think we need to make them bigger. <sighs> I want to make. I think it makes it look rounder when it's smaller. In real life, you mean? I don't know. I'll be honest, I, I, I've seen... Oh. I've seen my fair share of big noses. My own family. 
like, granted, I don't think it, it was this big. Oh, man, from the side. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What have I done to you? Oh, no. <laughs> buddy. Customize your character. Don't be shy. Oh, I just feel bad for him. <laughs> Hmm, let's see the different skin tones we have. Ah, uh, that's normal. Pretty normal. A color? Some bright, whoa. Whoa. Give him like a muted red. No? see what we can do with this hair. Maybe his hair inspires me to do something. I kind of like this hair, not for the game, but just in general. I like the upper messy style. Oh! I don't know. I don't know. I'm into this prairie man over here. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh my. He needs to be able to suck his own nose. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I, I don't know. This ha hairstyle actually makes his nose fit quite well with, with his overall face. I don't know. This is pretty good. I kind of like that. <laughs> From the side. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like a helmet. All right, all right. There's a lot more short hair than I'd expect. Going bald, then straight up bald. Hmm. <laughs> With a nose like that, he a captain, right? Definitely. He can smell trouble from a mile. I don't know. I really like... If only for the profile shot. I love this hair. <laughs> this is incredible. I don't know. I really like this one, too. This one, I just actually think it fits the face very well. I just think it looks legitimately good on him. <laughs> oh, what happens if I change the gender? Interesting. Hmm. Actually, it doesn't look quite as fun having the guy with this hair. <laughs> I, I need the mustache. Is it that one? It is. Okay. I'm going with this mustache. Why is this so hard to pick? This is a... This is like... It reminds me of Princess Bride, but I don't remember if there was a specific character that looked like this. <laughs> but it reminds me of something that would be in that movie. I... 
I don't know. I don't know. I really like this. <laughs> Isn't it Diego Montoya? It, it doesn't go too crazy with the colors and I... Is it kind of rainbowy? I kind of like that. It's kind of like, it has a different shade. Oh, I like that. They have many of... But then they have like different shades going. Interesting. Yeah, these are more normal. Interesting. Indigo. Yeah, in 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 Indigo, it it I don't remember. I actually like that they fade to different colors. It's I think this guy would fit with the most colorful hair we can get him, but none of them are weird. I think none of them are weird. I eyebrow style. Wait, wait. I'm gonna remove the hair. I feel like this is the type of person that would would have very stylized eyebrows, like this. <laughs> Here's the thing, you know, might have weird colors on his hair, but, but they match. Okay. One thing I want to test with is Nope, no. In eh, that's gross. <laughs> that's really gross. Seeing the pores move. I really don't like that. I really don't like that. <laughs> oh, all right. Are those the only nose ones? Oh yeah, it's better down. I kind of wanted to make it go farther out. I don't know how. Oh. That's weird. Yeah, you can't make it go farther out. A cheeky man. I like it. Like the messy top bun. No, top buns are not allowed. It's like breathing. It's like he's breathing. It is. It really is. <laughs> oh. There we go. I don't know. This is hard. This is hard. See, a lot of them don't have any. Oh, I, I'm i going to be making multiple playthroughs of this. I just want to have multiple. <laughs> that, that gets me. I don't know. This really gets me. <laughs> I can oh this guy I imagine him in a dress but he he's like a built dude so you just have like the tuft of chest hair popping out of the dress that goes like right to here it's just a thing and he has this hair and he's like in an old uh, western saloon he's the guy serving it's that's how I imagine this hair with this guy where I imagine him. This hairstyle is 
the hairstyle of what's her name? Ashley Birch. If you know Ashley Birch, it's straight up her hair and like looking at it, it's just like, oh, it's Ashley's hair. I know it's, you know, not, but whoa, you get a lot of the color. This one. I think I think I've decided. I I kinda I kinda have to go with this. <laughs> Ooh, makeup. <gasps> Weird, these are more like freckles. The golden mask. I almost have to remove the hair to be able to see what's going on. Bruises. Okay, okay. There's one in the middle here. This is a trans, right? You can be in my wedding. I don't know. <laughs> just, just making a character. I don't know. I, I like, I like how that looks. I did like the 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 golden face too. Where is it? This one. Really weird and shiny. If you saw this person walking towards you, this is the face of death. <laughs> uh. Dirt, no. Pristine. Scar. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Age. <gasps> no, it looks sick. Like they're dying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I see it now. You look like a dead man. I believe this. Don't be hangry. What did he look without anything? Hmm. I don't know, I like that. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. I'm done. looking at the hair <laughs> Roderick He looks like one of those 20s brawler guys, like fisticuffs, kind of kind of fighting dudes. <laughs> like this.
I don't know, what do you guys think? He does look really nice. Really good. And then the bonus, the bonus profile. Hmm. It's a rough choice. It's a rough choice. How long can I go? Not too long. Yeah. If it's the same style choices for females, there's not a lot of hair choices for them. As I could see. Yeah, I think it's it's for both guys and girls, it's the same list of hairs. I like the name Roderick, but I want something weirder. I think ending it with Rick is a good thing. A lot of them seem female, which is understandable. It's true, although I feel that it has a lot of short styles as well that can fit both male and female, and I like that. Plus, I just like short hairs and styles in general on guys and girls, IRL, so maybe that's just me. You're more of a medium to long hair lover. Hmm. Does Pogdad have have medium to long hair? I don't know what to name it. Larig or Larig. <laughs> hey, Larig. But it grows up like Goku. Interesting. <laughs> Just imagine. <laughs> Just imagine having like cartoony spiky hair. When he gets angry, it goes, goes blonde. I'm happy enough. Let's go. Except. Oh. Please do, please do. Uh, this looks perfect. This is this is beautiful. 
What time is it? I spent an hour doing this. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. More. Initiate skip jump. Hmm. Status structural integrity down twenty five per cent. Power levels down. <sighs> Shit. Hopefully you guys can hear the game. Tell me if you can't. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Nice. I like it. I like that. I'm liking the tone of the game so far. Oh, good loading screens. I miss good loading screens. Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind, ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Oh, Good we're, luck. we're still I dropping. I didn't even all notice. The colonists are counting on you. I'm not gonna skip. Stop telling me to skip. my sensitivity you than the board huh not sure I trusted I might have gone after the bounty on my head shame about the whole squashing thing nasty way to go I like that <laughs> you kill him I didn't kill him he killed himself let's just go with that It's pretty. It is very pretty. Okay, I think this is kind of 
it's just a little bit high for what I usually like. But granted, I haven't played a mouse game in who knows how long, so I'll adjust it as I go. This is good. Um, this is a really pretty game. They change color as you move around. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, the core. I found it. It's a very low resolution. Oof, turning making me a bit dizzy. But I am hungry, oh no. Yeah, it, it, it is kind of... The FOV is kind of weird. I, I made it wider, but I feel like having it lower might actually be better. That was kind of backwards, but... Did I change the FOV? Gameplay? Did increase it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's quite better. Thank you. I do like these things. Oh, look at the grass. Interesting. Like the flowiness of everything. How about you? Okay. Classic. Hello. Oh. Do they have a name. I just want to put the cursor on top of you. Sprat. There's Sprat. Okay. Space Rat, probably. Control. Crouch. To sneak, too. Get back here. Oh, my. Oh, reflections. It's a pretty game. I immediately like the color palette, too. Is that a dude? Is that a living dude? Well, sneaking, use tall grass. This is a dead dude. Dreno. Oh no, this is... I'm glad I didn't reduce my strength. Because I have a feeling that this is going to be... Oh, I like how the, the grass deforms. Well, sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, and other covers. Guy from enemies, use to sneak past enemies and sneak up on them. To initiate combat. Not a bad guy? That is. Timid Cannon. Okay. Or nurse meters over the enemy's head tell you. Okay. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Good. Oh, 
Okay, seems like there's at least some kind of cover stuff for sneaking. Yeah. Not just, you know. Crouch slowly. Oh, you're still crouching, but. Oh. Frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are we gonna start hallucinating? We're gonna start hallucinating. I know it. Uh oh. F. Emergency medicinal inhaler to heal. Adreno. Interesting. Okay, so Adreno is the healing. Are you friendly? Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. Do I have five, medical five? Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. It's fine. Spacer's what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. What's this about Marauders? What were you doing out there here? Hiding in a cave and you blocked off of the exit. Ah, you're as good as dead. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hullhead grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract Marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Can you? We've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get help. <laughs> Someone grounded their ship illegally? I'll hunt them down for you. Intimidate. You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. <laughs> uh, do you know anything about the hope? I'm off. Can you tell me about where? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioners for a can of our famous Saltuna. Saltuna? I've heard there. That. Is that just a normal thing? <laughs> the Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Alright, I'm off. Oh! I have gun. I will shoot gun. Can I just... Is there a quick save? Let's find out. Rolls. Key binding. Yeah. Taylor is F. Tactical to okay, Q. CNV. Weapon, previous weapon, last weapon, doesn't have one. Weapon dial, I press it in, quick save, five, quick load, F9. I just want to test to see if they like it. Spacer's choice reputation decreased. Interesting. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that's pretty snappy. Alright, alright. Oh no. <laughs> this is bad. Oh. Damage my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? 
hear me? What in the hell? This... Bit cartridge, cartridge, certain amounts of bits used as currency in the gun, so that's money. Light ammo and sentry saber. Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as to take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Oh, uh, I was supposed to use this against the guys, but... I kind of kill them. <laughs> Mushroom. So objects explode when you hit. Shoot them when enemies are nearby. Interesting. Okay. There were no enemies there. Still shot it. Okay. I'm not gonna sneeze. Uh, hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lock picking skills help you get to places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks and bypass stunt shunts are used to break computers' encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need to and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used. Uh, and speed up the process. Okay, let's try it. So I need four of these. Need four. Add picks. Do it in the inventory. I. Okay, alright. There's a lot of stuff going on. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by dragging them to the slots at the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk or breathe break them breathe them break them down for parts players will with the engineering skill can repair weapons on the screen as well take care of your tnl weapons and they'll take care of you your enemy oh no oh okay it's just the lighting I thought it was something off with his face saber security and one melee Damage 36. Flex bleed. This melee weapon is standard to military roots. Let's try it. Compare. Okay. Okay. 393. Journal. Smugglers look. Took your meeting location a bit too literally. Guess that means the ship is now yours. Codex. Oh, okay. I will probably not be reading the codex. I'll just say that. <laughs> I think it's just the tutorials. I didn't see... I didn't see the... Oh, here we go. Armor manager. Drag your armor, helmet, items, equipment, etc. Okay. Can I remove it? Oh, oh. Consumables make the best gear for your for friends and family. Here you can use junk, drop your consumables. They can be used directly to gain variety of boosts. Your emergency medical inhaler is shown at the top screen. It uses adreno as fuel to heal you. An emergency always keeps you loaded. 
uh, keeps it loaded into slot one. Increase your medical skill to unlock drug mixing slots that can hold all types of consumables, not just adreno. Each slot is mixed into every puff of the inhaler for a combined effect. Your medical skill increases the du duration of each effect. Okay, so the amount that I was healed by adreno was because of my thing. Now I have 10, so they're limited. 10 uses. Hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. They're fully 3D modeled. That's pretty crazy. Bunch of nanners. <laughs> nice. How if I put it here? Well, they mix the bunch of nanners with the 200 natural health regeneration lasts two minutes. Interesting. Okay, so I'm not going to use that. Interesting, interesting. Ooh. Zero G brew. Pick. Termac and cheese. Okay, okay. Fish sticks. Oh no, this game is going to have a lot of picking up stuff. <laughs> uh, Alright. Oh. I feel like they probably have a lockpick and one more of those lockpick things around here for me to try and lockpick once. Right? That makes sense. Right? Oh, games. I never found the second guy. No, I did. Never mind. Wait, can I pickpocket that dude? Hello? Don't mind me. <gasps> Yo. That's all I needed. Thanks, buddy. You die slowly now. I don't want to feel too guilty. Terrible. It just opens. Okay. Telescoping staff. Two handed melee weapon. I just now real. Oh, what? Don't. Oh, oh, that was old. Okay. I just now realized that it didn't say hand one and hand two. It's just one handed or two handed weapon. And I was just reading it. Oh. Reading it wrong. You have found a new weapon. The weapon switch button allows you to. Yeah. Ta Got it. Ooh. Oh, it sounds really cool. Use these controls to attack and block. Okay. That sounds really cool. Did it have electric? It looks like an electric weapon. Iconic Space Destroyer's telescopic staff can be modified in many ways for additional costs. Now available in Mark II. Oh wow, it's very specific swing rate. 1.053 attack per second. Doesn't let you zoom into the logo really far. All right. We've literally not done anything yet. Let's, oh, oh, oh. Let's see if let's let's try out some some sneaks. Okay, okay. 
And me. I'm just everyday bushman. Just bushing around. Bush. Oh, they see me. I can't shoot through the grass. I'm not good enough. Oh. Oh, they got scared. Interesting. Dead. Double click jump button to dodge left. Oh, oh, whoops. Oh. No, oh, I didn't read what that last thing was. I am not good <laughs> at the shooting. Cartridge light ammo. Good thing it has auto heal. You know. Very slow auto heal, but at least it. Oh, there's a sneaky path here. Is that a face? No, it's just a rock. There's just a chip here. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! Hello! Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech! Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. It's just a landing violation, let it go. So I heard, I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. I've already dealt with a few of the marauders. Not impressed. Really? How is he? He'll make it. I'll help him with it. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Do Sp Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? Life 5. Bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of the ship is. Oh. Oh yeah, I need to I need to get them out of here. So I can I need them to get out of here so I can take the ship and they won't notice. Hmm. Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. <laughs> hmm. I really like the persuade option. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm Bob. the manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. And it's gonna be fucking laminated. Hell yeah, let's laminate that report. Oh, there are marauders here. Never mind. I can flank. Flanking action. Oh. My flank was not very effective. Give me a second, I'm looting everything. Gotta loot. 
Loot, loot, loot. Loot, loot, loot. Is that it? Yo. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Should I just kill her? Is this some kind of threat? Are you insane? Oh. My bad. Who are you? Damn marauders are out of control. Cause this is now technically my ship, so. Hmm. But yeah, hey Bob, how are you doing? Thank you for stopping by. Let me get myself some more water. But yeah. I can't even ask what you guys are thinking of the game so far, because I've barely done anything. But, what are you guys thinking of the game so far? <laughs> Hopefully being an enjoyable ride for everyone. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Apex transport. Welcome aboard. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. Oh, are we gonna get a sassy ship? Please tell me we're getting a sassy ship. I'm good, got some yard work done. Nice. Is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I don't appreciate being talked to you that way. Gesture procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> you realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I need to get this ship on the air. Is this Hawthorne's ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting uh, orders from I anyone like... other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I like that pretty much all of her expression is her eyes and it feels like a very old game i forget what game i mean a lot of them used more like just images to well if i'm gonna go with the obvious one but not the one i was thinking of it's the first metal gear solid games where the when you were in like the little radio dialogues they were shown as images with like just emotions but i forget what game i'm thinking of it was it was an old pc game I don't remember what it was. I haven't watched too much of this game yet. Well, we're pretty much... I'm pretty much starting. This is the beginning. But... Yeah. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. Uh... You met my escape pod, all right. Head first. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it. You need me to be Captain Haw Hawthorne or you can't fly. Okay, but I'm the Hawthorne. Hawthorne is... Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. <laughs> Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Sad music. Our drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. 
where am I supposed to find something like that? Engineering pot? I doubt I'll find part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? The Unreliable. Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Knock it off with a Captain Hawthorne. Yeah, you know, I got it. Thanks. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Nice. Oh, it's my leveling up thing. You've been promoted. I really like this moon guy. I really like this moon guy. Congratulations, you have gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll... You'll be upper management material in no time. Tab. But th tab was my inventory too. <coughs> I'm okay. I'm alive. Oh, do you understand? Yeah. Oh, good. You're still here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, I do not understand. Stop asking. Oh, who's this? Oh, oh, this is Auntie Cleo, man. Thank you, thank you. I like her. She's like, she's like Quaker Oats. The Quaker. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points and spend on improvements. On improving your... I'll be honest. I'll be completely honest. After I'm done streaming, and I, you know, not today or tomorrow, because I'm going to be streaming at least two days. During the week, when I know I won't have time to set up the stream, I really just want to play this game. I won't, but I really want to. Words are had. What? What? Confused. I'm not. I get that you were saying words are hard. Okay, every time I level up, uh, you earn skill points to spend on improve. I've noticed that I've lost track of what I was talking about multiple times. I start reading it and then I just go to a different topic. I've been doing that a lot. Uh, spending a skill point on a core skill, melee, improves all of the specialized skills in that group. Maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor consumables and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skills passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Nice. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve achieve middle management. I like how this game is like how it's criticism of <laughs> of capitalism in a similar fashion. <sighs> Fallout. I'm trying to think back to Fallout. kind of had a similar thing going didn't it with vault tech but it was like after that society had kind of crumbled and you were seeing the the um results of it after that's done and the results of it as someone who was living in a vault because they would experiment on people. They were so it's kind of like a similar theming but a different approach to it. I feel that if these guys kept the rights to Fallout, 
maybe they would have gone more in this direction that we're seeing. But if you stop and look at the later fallouts that Bethesda made, they kind of lost a little bit of that, of the kind of, you know, um, the parody of, of that. So, not parody, that's not, the satire. That's the word I was looking for. <clears throat> Melee. Oh, so it literally adds one. Okay. How do I hold? Okay, so X. Nice. Five. Oh, the hibernation suit gives me more. I will put the rest of them into this. Yeah, I'm gonna pump up my uh, my RPG. Not much of my fighting for now. I'll increase it later. You're gonna be thinking about it at work and itching to play. I will. I definitely will. Oh my god, your care body, I know, right? I know, quite the hunk. Quite the hunk. Back. Fly. Combat dialogue abilities. You have unlocked dialogue combat skills. When attacking the correct type of target, they will automatically... Debilit... They are automatically debilitated. Perks. Selecting perks. Welcome to the perk selection. On this screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You you get new perk points to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as accepting a flaw, acquiring five new perks, makes a next tier of perks available to you. Auntie wants you to be your best to help her be the very best. <laughs> Auntie. Okay. <laughs> Looking good with all that gymming. I know, right? I, I was trying to actually take his clothes off, but then I, we fell into this. Toughness. Cost one perk point. You're, you've grown healthier in your time outside this st of stasis. Wow. <laughs> Five seconds outside of stasis. You've grown stronger. Tactical time dilation. Lasts longer. Surely this is normal. This could be useful. Uh, I'm going to be using a lot of this because of how bad I am at shooting. Sometimes you are the only person you can trust. What is this lone wolf? I usually... I won't be doing this because I'll get people in my, my party. You deal increase... This is pretty much Fallout. A lot of these perks are straight out of Fallout. <laughs> of like old Fallout. Uh, Strider. Years of Adreno time. Adreno time? Have left a permanent pep in your step. Walk speed. This could be interesting. They're not slow. You're just fast. Cheetah. 20. The run speed. Yeah, what Bob said. And I don't think you have gotten chunky. I think he's talking about the character. Right? Or was he talking about me? Blush, blush. Blush, blush, blush. Well, I'm talking about you, blush, blush. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I want to... <laughs> I was referring to the character. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. High maintenance. Are you high maintenance? I am. No, I'm not. You take better care of your weapons and armor than most people. Ooh, this is very useful. 
Oh my, Bob. Uh oh. Oh. I don't. I don't know what to say now. Triple blush. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Av okay. After some unsanctioned adjustments, the workbench slight alignment tool is much more accurate. Oh. The negotiator. Being a shrewd negotiator makes ooh vendor prices twenty percent low. But you make up for it in bits. Deadly demonstrations. Your companions have a lot to teach you about killing. Ooh, this is useful. Traveler. You've become very efficient at transporting goods. Maybe you should have been born a cargo holder. Unlock the ability to fast travel when in comp that's huge. How many million times in Fallout, Skyrim, any of those games? You're over encumbered. You just want to go back to your ship. To your to your ship. Now I'm thinking of these this year. Your encampment in your house. Just to stash those things away. This is huge. Quick the quick and the dead. Your tactical time dilation meter recharges much faster. 50% recharge. All of these are really good. Increase your maximum carrying capacity by 50 kilos. All of these are really good. Uh, a few bits more. Vendors and vending machines are have additional ammo consumables. General items available. The effect will happen the next time a vendor or vending machine restocks. Additional ammo. I was talking vendor. Wow. Again, another another big thing. How many times you're there buying ammo in one of these vendors and they don't have more. Resilient. You have a base armor rating which adds to any armor you wear. Plus five base armor. Nice. Yeah, really good for tier one perks. Definitely. I'm not going to read all the other ones because... Oh, I don't think required require five so i'll get to have five of these i'm going i don't know i think for the beginning i think i'm not going to get over encumbered or have companions right now these i'm definitely getting i think I will be mm, base health plus fifty percent. That's huge. Walking speed and running speed. That's really good too. This is these are really good. Like they pack pack mule huge. Is it better to have more of this? I think I'm going with this. Yeah. I'm going with that. Except. Oh, wow. Oh, I miss stats like this. Bethesda was like, oh, we want to remove stats. We want to make it easier for you to get into our games. We want to just, you know, streamline. I don't want that. I don't like that. I love these numbers. Give me more of them. Primary groundbreakers, iconoclast. I'm 0% with all of them. Not bad. Oh yeah, I was gonna take my clothes off. Oh. Oh. Okay. There you go. Hello, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> stats, stats. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> okay, so I'm definitely wearing that, which is a cool future looking. I can wear this. Hello. I wonder if because it's. 
Okay, it's not specifically a Marauder thing. All right, so I'm definitely using... Ah, oh, but hiding that face? You know what? You know what? Check this out. Gameplay. Show player helmet? No. I can get the, the perks. Unless I find a cool helmet, then I'll, I'll turn it back on. But I want to be able to look at that face. Again, imagine dying to that face. That's what I'm imagining. I'm dying of sexitude. Uh... If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, <gasps> the Crux 2000 workbench is... I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. Weapon parts? We just got a shotgun. I got a shotgun. Toss ball stick. How do ladders work? Okay, okay, it's manual. I like I like my manual ladders. Ooh, this looks the like the engine room. The ship's cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. I like how this engine looks. I like ball engines. <laughs> um. ED from These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Wait, wait. Please ignore them. Oh, these? Oh. ED from a Mass Effect 2 before you know she got a body. Uh I loved her ball form. I thought it, it looked so cool and futuristic. Absolutely love that. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself, right before he died. Character respecification. Choosing to respec, it lets you respec. And you can spend... The price of respec will increase each time you use the machine. I don't want to, but that's cool. That is really cool. You don't like a build, or again, like Ark was saying, sneaking sucks? Respec. That's awesome. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. <laughs> it looks like an old sewing machine. It's probably not what, what it is, but you're sewing your body together. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> Logger. Hey, people that know drinks. Whoa. Oh, I wish you could play this. I wonder when you have companions and stuff, if you can. Okay, there's one thing I heard. I don't know how many of you guys play Mass Effect, but I heard that when you get companions, they come on your ship and they, you know, interact with each other and you kind of pick who you want to bring with you on each mission. And it, the ship is kind of like in Mass Effect. So you you know you get to interact with them and such, and I love that part of Mass Effect, just interacting with the people and getting to know them and doing companion missions. I love that, and I heard that this game has something similar to that, and that makes me incredibly excited. Incredibly excited. Also, huge thing. I'm glad it doesn't let you pick up every single plate, every single everything, like Fallout or Skyrim. And then most of it is junk, that you can't do anything, you can just scrap it. I'm glad that they, you know, minimize the, the amount of stuff you can do. Quarters, Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Aww. <laughs> Hi, first criper. <laughs> uh, I don't have it activate on mine, hopefully it's activated on the channel. I'm pretty sure I activated uh, BTTV emotes on the channel. So hopefully they're showing up for you. It's not showing up for me. But definitely something I have to I have to remember to do after I'm done streaming today. You see the word hypers or the or it's wow we yeah I see the word wow we it's 
game loads really fast. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. I don't have a job. <laughs> Really? After I patched up your friend? You've got... You've got it all wrong. I'm a starship safety inspector. Or... Do you take down payments in wanton violence? I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think that saying I don't have a job will probably, you know, lead me to getting a fine, but also getting a job. Which I'm kind of interested in. I kind of want to see what kind of systems we get. But I could also lie. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. Easy. Boom. I like that you can literally kill anyone, too. There. There are no key NPCs you can't kill. You can just kill anyone. Want to kill this dude? Bam. That's it. You see the emotes? Nice. Okay. That is good. That is good. That means emotes are... Whoa. This is a pretty game. This is a pretty... Oh, I have paths I can pick. I can go main path. I can go left path. Or I can go right path. Those are the opposite sides. But you get what I mean. <laughs> so, here. I've been just answering a bunch of choices. Why don't you guys give me a quick choice here? Do you want to go middle, left, or right? Go with what you see, not with what I say, by the way. <laughs> there we have Christmas trees. In the middle we have the town, and to the left we have something that probably leads to the volcano, so. It's the first thing I see in chat. That will be... what I... Am I... Weird on camera? I have so many things to, like, dial in and... Fix. Okay, <laughs> we're going to the Christmas trees. <laughs> Hopefully the game... Is the stream frame rate good? That's one thing I want to say. Is it consistent 30? You're not seeing like drops to lower or anything like that. Oh. That's all I want to know. As if it is dropping and I haven't seen any drops good. Oh, awesome. So everything is looking good, but I will. Oh, Nelly. All oh, reflections. Whoops. Uh-oh! It's a doggo! It's a space doggo! I'm killing a space doggo, no! Hello? Gotcha. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, I could've gone in. I can just go in and not fight any of them. Oh, primal. Whoa. Look at his face. Whoa. That's cool. He looks really cool. This is a really cool design. Again, I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> Hypers, you picked the right side. Yeah. I mean the wrong side. I mean the left. Weapon parts, nice. Oh, I should read what weapon parts do exactly. Because I have no clue. 
Dreno. Always good to have. I didn't have to use one. Aw. All the buddies. No. Aw. I am... Again, I've barely started the game. I've barely done anything. I am loving playing this game. <laughs> it's it's weird. But sometimes games just click with you, you know? It's... I've literally just been walking. And I am loving it. Oh, look, the middle path. Is this the middle path? Is this something else? I think this is the middle path. There's some sort of trap here. Hello, buddy boy. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. Not bad. I'm getting pretty good at doing this. Where's the other guy? guy that ran at me in the middle of the grass, isn't he? Roz brought a knife to a gunfight and won. <laughs> I did. You know, sometimes sayings are wrong. You know, a lot of people, a lot, whoa. Hello? Resident. I wonder if you can shoot corpses. Okay. By the way, I do not condone the shooting of corpses. Just leave it at that. Again, imagine, oh, here he is, from this bush rises this man. <laughs> I, I don't know, I think he can always win a gunfight with a knife. Oh no. How does the game feel? It feels good. It feels very good. The jump is the only thing that I'd say feels a little bit floaty, but it's not bad at all. It's especially since it's not a, you know, it's not a platformer. So you're not jumping all the time, but it feels good. I like it. I like the pacing. I like the feel of like the gameplay. I'm liking the system so far. Uh, again, just started it, but I'm really enjoying playing it. It feels good, it plays good, it looks good. Cemetery. Hello. Hello. The man that talks to every dead person in the cemetery. Oh, water. This is something I did want to see, graphics-wise. How do they do water? Okay, so there isn't much reaction from the water when you step in it. Yeah, all right. I'll say this. It's definitely what I wanted in a game for a while, but I hadn't gotten it. It's what I wanted from Fallout 4, but I didn't get it there. It's what I wanted from Fallout 76. Oh, God. <laughs> Also, can we just just uh, mention how perfectly it, the timing was for Bethesda to screw up Fallout? Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? As this game was coming out, my thought is because of what this is, they wanted to release a you know a lot of the features that players were asking for in Fallout 76, they want to release that as this game was coming out, so it took some of this game's thunder. Well, they do it, did it so poorly. So poorly, it had the exact opposite effect. As... Hello? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. 
Uh, my pod trash in the hill back there. Can I say that to him? Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. <laughs> I never got your name. I'm a Lurig. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Who do I talk to about power regulator? I'm looking to make a little money while I'm here. Mm -hmm. This place looks like it's falling to pieces. Junior in humor. Title, title for a grave digger. Hey, I earned that fancy title. Started off a lowly junior gravesite builder, then junior interment engineer. Oh, and I was a junior burial assistant for a time. Uh, actually, I wanted to talk to you about something. Oh. The rate I've been working, I'm bound to earn a promotion. Must be about 50, 60 burials away from associate in humor. All right, who do I talk about, Power Regulator? Oh, I'm looking to make some money. for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? So you want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. You're making people pay for their own graves? Wait a minute. <laughs> nope, nope. Why can't you collect these fees yourself? Let me ask you about some. Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. Yeah, we will do it. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Martin Abernathy? Hmm. Why is Abernathy a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Oh, he's the guy we saw with with uh, the other lady. I don't remember names. Something else I wanted to ask yeah. you. Let's see. It's almost being in pretty bad shape if it's... Oh! Oh, sick burn! Alright. There's a lot of people in Marauders? Former people, yeah. Former people. I've been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Oh, okay, so wait, is that acting? Are they after loot? Oh, no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Uh... How long have you been a junior in humor, grave digger, or whatever? Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. Uh, all my life? <laughs> Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. This town must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. You're not worried about falling sick? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Who do I talk to about power regulator? I finally get to ask my... Definitely not the junior. Not that it didn't let me. I picked all the other stuff. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. 
Head into town, follow the road. I actually want to talk to you about something. Yeah? Have you heard any news about the Hope? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again. <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? I don't understand. You're saying everybody forgotten about us? Isn't it a rumor? I'm, it's real. I'm living proof. Uh, he's probably not gonna believe this or this, but... Hope's just a rumor, friend. Ancient rumor at that. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero-G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. Did he say cantina? That word makes that song play in my head immediately. <laughs> it's immediate. I, I just... This is ridiculous. I don't understand. They said the colony was expecting it. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop. Or there's gonna be trouble. Where's the trouble in asking a question? Trouble's in the asking. Or don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. Okay. Will he remember that? Yeah, let's change. Something I can do for you? Uh, got a question for you. Yeah. All right, that's it. Cool. I. Hmm. Beats working at the cannery. Huh? What? I wasn't dozing off. Is daytime? Oh, wow. Okay, there is daytime. Time goes by. Ooh, okay. Interesting, interesting. I don't know if Ark is still around. I did have a question. I was going to test this later, but... I mean, if someone with... Granted, I'd like talking about this is around. It's always a plus. But I was wondering if I were to increase the quality of the stream, would it be best to increase it to 60 frames per second or increase the resolution? Oh, wait a minute. That's stealing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna steal yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep myself clean for a while. Because the <laughs> steal all the things. Yeah, that's usually what I do. But yeah, I was thinking because. Most of the games I think I'm going to be playing are not high action games that would really benefit from 60 frames per second when you're watching it. Uh, so this is one of the engines for a ship. There's a lot of places for me to explore here, and I really like that. What I'm wondering too is if it actually loads for you to get into the city, or if it's all part of the of the world. Energy cell. But yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go into the city. But before I do that, let's check these doors. As long as no one sees me. There aren't any cameras in here. Is there a car?
karma system? And as a kid, you should make... What? So... The... White looking... Am I going off screen? No, I actually have a lot of space. I'm just not used to seeing my profile. <laughs> Uh, so the white-looking flowers make me think of weeds that you can blow. Oh, the... I do too. Dandelions? They're dandelions, right? That's the name of them? Haven't thought about... Them. Well, I think about them visually. Haven't thought of their name in a long time. Dandelions... My mind was like, something to do with lions. <laughs> Use terminal. Space your choice, what gives you... When life gives you lemons, consider a free trial from your friends at Spacer's Choice. <laughs> Altoona Cannery. Spacer's Choice property. All access. subscription there's a lot of stuff this is so much like fallout yeah your subscription you home association's new letter has expired okay edgewater cemetery is property of the spacer's choice company spacious choice family takes care of its own cradle oh i like how it kind of fades in and out like an old monitor I like that it's a nice little detail Grave sites, plots, and headstones are provided by Spacer's Choice at an affordable rate. Comfortable, spacious plots. Oh, comfortable. <laughs> hmm. uh, custom engraved headstones and monograms. Complementary eulogy courtesy of the Order of Scientific Inquiry. And, you mean Scientology. Let's your spirit rest in privacy of Spacer Choice brand grave site. Inventory logs. Hack. Yeah, hacking is just a press of a button here. Teddy's corpse was missing a hand. Detective, I bet. Your sound successful. Paid an accounting. Can I dig a grave? Pick up someone. Let's dig somebody up. Tried. Imagine if you could hit it and then all the little thingies flew away. That man. Yeah. Let's go in. Okay, so I do. There is a loading screen. Ah. Oh, love these loading screens. That's a great way to dig. I agree, Bob. I've been digging like that since 1995. Wonder if there's anything here. Oh my. The little area here. Hmm. Hmm. What's this? A lot of them. Oh. Damn it. Damaged letter. Anna, your mother passed away from plague. She wasn't chosen to receive medical treatment and failed to recover on her own. I found a site near the ocean to bury her. I know it's company policy to have her buried in the graveyard, but I can ju just can't afford the fees. 
I'm heading out after dark to put her to rest, say my final goodbyes and all. I know it's dangerous to go out alone at night, but I have to chance it. And if you're reading this, I want you to know that your mother was a good person. Don't blame her for what happened. She worked as hard as she could. It just wasn't hard enough in the end. Love, Dad. Are both of her parents dead now? She's dead too. Everyone's dead. Well, that's just sad. It's a good old sad story. Again, like, th that has always been the forte of these games, just like environmental storytelling when they're, the games are, you know, doing it right. Because <laughs> you see the track that leads back there and then you see everything that's happening. It's, it's always fun because it, it's like you're discovering it, it yourself, kind of are. Start asking you for some medicine. Come tell me. I'll set him straight. Regard. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Why not? Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. I don't mind. Why? What's going on here? They sound like I'm being watched. Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. What do you have? I've got some training. Here, look at you. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. You obviously need help. What kind of trouble? People trouble. Lazy worker like me getting special treatment from some out-of-town physiker like you. People will talk. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. You know, it's really sad that I've seen, obviously not this, but like very similar to stuff like that. Stories told in like certain companies and how, you know, the work ethic and stuff like that in them was just terrible. And, uh, you know, again, not like this because there are laws that protect against, you know, if you're sick and stuff like that. You know, just, we see that even in, in the games industry, just emotional abuse and stuff like that. And, you know, the classics over time and all that jazz. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. There, there's a lot of examples of that and how people are shamed if they're... Because, like, she's been mentioning a lot how, you know, people will talk, people will talk. And, uh, yeah, it's just kind of the fear of the shame, the fear of losing the little bit that you have and of pushing you to just keep keep yourself in line, even though that line can be pretty terrible. Because you feel sick. I yeah. really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Or if I get, if I got very, very serious there. Back here. Oh no, he's dead. Pretty necklace. Yo, you're into that sort of stuff. Oh man. Fire! 
right? Waste of company ammo. Was that for the rat? <laughs> All right, you do you. I'm not gonna steal the pills of the sick house. I'm not gonna go that low. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not stealing the money from the sick house. Oh, hello. Move along. And sleep here. Probably also not. Not a good idea to sleep in the sick house. Lady, <laughs> these are rats. You're killing a bunch of rats. What's she? She's pretty intense. I like your attitude. I think that's why she she has the job that she has. You know, she gets to keep it. The company likes that. The company likes people <laughs> that are really into their jobs. <laughs> Ooh, the barber. Sh oh, this is one of the people we gotta shake down. Yo, barber. What's cool? Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Oh, I don't like this guy. Who is doing his voice, though? Relax, I'm clean. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. I... wonder if my hair is within company guidelines. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. I mean, you're broke. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. I don't care, pay off. <laughs> a very loose definition of the word prosperity. Some quality drama, Conrad. You should audition. Be so hard on yourself. Edgewater is built on the discipline and sacrifice of its people. Say what you will about our town, but we all pull together. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your head. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. I like these little side missions that the missions kind of open. I, I really like that. Oh, wait a second. You're a barber, right? Ah, huh. all right. All right. Now maybe maybe I shouldn't help this guy. He just whack him over in the hand with shovel. Hmm. Model spaceship. Cool. What do you have back here? Oh. Oh, you're a doctor, too. That's what you meant. Accidents happen. happen. Whoops. Laboratory outfit. Splash resistant. Thank you. 
<laughs> Don't mind if I do. Ooh. Receptionist Conrad. The receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company is going to have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Spacer's Choice property. Eugene has was an asset and every and somebody has to pay his body price. This is gonna ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene has a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. You're processing the body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We, we sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet. Uh, use the bill, the bits to pay for the body, for his body price. Nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Wag waggle your eyebrows. Seems like a good a good plan. Scientist. Science. Hello. I don't know if I, I need to crouch to do this, but... Conrad, my friend. What can I do for you? How about Eugene? Why not use his teeth as Galero? Doesn't wow, that's wrote something weird there. Yeah, he doesn't need his teeth anymore. Yeah, it seems like a good plan. I, I'm gonna do this first because this is probably gonna advance the plot. You sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Yes. You are. <laughs> That's my doctor laugh. Only if we use the term doctor. Loosely. So you prepare corpses for burial. Pretty specific job description. I want to know this. Experience was my teacher. Experience and... So, you want to be an embalmer. Brochures 1 through 5. Courtesy of the Spacer's Choice Department of Career Development. Again. Career development tests. Uh, remind me of Goat from Fallout. I'm looking to repair my ship. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. You know, I've been quite nice to you. Vicar Maximilian, our man from the OSI. Here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. You don't seem to like him very much. I've got some quite yeah. He doesn't seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and in his relatively short tenure in Edgewater, gives off the distinct whiff of superiority. Some questions. Go ahead. Pretty enthusiastic about this place. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work, not since the plague started. What do you know about this plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. What are the symptoms? Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. Why don't you treat all your workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Sensible policy? Whose idea was that? That's monstrous. Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow stares out of his office most hours. Uh, 
That's all for now. Oh, wait. What can I do for you? You know about Eugene? How? I read it. <laughs> I'm a mind reader. <laughs> you were probably poking around my things. I really shouldn't leave my letters sitting out in the open. <laughs> Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. I'm sure you won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Yeah, you mean yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ask for forgiveness from the vicar later. I don't care. I'm just here to collect your dues. Uh, you're gonna have to. Yes, I suppose I must. We might be getting him killed, by here the way. You are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Goodbye. I did my job the best that I could. Oh, look, it's the OSI. Oh, look at that uh, sparkle effect. Oh. Looks really good. Hello. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that to you. Hmm? Somebody's been rambling about some colony ship. I wonder what that's about. Cantina. I wonder if this is gonna Music? There is no music here. I was lied to. I really don't know how to. You read the latest report? Only the part Sorry. that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, Cannery could use those extra hands. Nothing we can do about that. Sure huh? there is. We can have another zero. Oh. Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... To, uh... Where am I again? Uh... You're drunk. What? No, I'm Winslow. Lester Winslow. Says so right on my permanent record. Can you be working? I am in no condition to do any work. Not so long as my injuries trouble me. You were injured? Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Oh. Shredded my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. Oh, buddy. Sound like you need a surgeon. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna argue with you there, friend. All these things to steal. I'm gonna talk to the barkeep. Hey barkeep! I don't know you. Amelia Kim. I'm Larig. The unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. So you're not going to serve me a drink? Perception, something's going on here I should know about. Charm. What a fine... I don't think she's gonna fall for this. Could have fooled me. All I see is a bunch of drunken slobs and one ugly Bart. Aw, oh, that's that's. that's a... <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Yeah, we've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues, lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand, but you, I don't know you. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. Deserters? 
about deserters? Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Oh, the town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? You can uh, give me a a drink. Coming right up. Merchant skill. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill. Ooh. Used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Do you have? Plain pure water. Ingredients 99% water. Oh no. It's crisp. I don't like that it's so hard to read the little details. That's that's kind of what I'm interested in. It's crisp. It's delicious. It's nutritious. It's water. Nutritious. Now with 11% more natural water flavoring. Zero G brew. Made in spice. An ale that's good for what you... For what ails you? Hey, that's a that's a dad joke right there. Two hour energy brew. <laughs> two hour. Isn't there two hour? No, it's eight hour energy. That that's a brand. Moderately caffeinated, more, moderately priced. Hmm. When you you need to go for them, just a couple more hours. Trip teas. Assorted flavors. The flavored teas brewed from tripicate, tripicate, trip, tripicate. Yeah, leaves. Each tree, each tea bag contains the finest natural and artificial flavors for the perfect cup of tea. Two hours. That lasts thirty seconds. I didn't even see that. <laughs> it's like, I should read what they do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Last 30 seconds. Drinks mind attributes plus one. Mind attributes plus one. Personality attributes plus one. Alcohol. Personality. Blah, blah, blah. Hangover. Dexterity minus one. Perception minus one. Charm minus one. Dehydrated water? Water without... The hydrogen or oxygen. Wait a second. Sugary drink. B uh, body attributes plus one. Last 30 seconds. Just add. Just add air. Now available in carbon carbonated. I like this. I'm not going to buy sell. What can I sell there? Ooh. Ooh. Sell a lot of things. But then again, see, that's, that's the big thing. A lot of these things are straight up useful. Oh, this adds to stealth. I'll sell one, though. Sell is E. Sell one of these. Tech skill plus five. It's always good to keep one of each of these in hand just for when you have to, you know. Extendo set. Oh, these are weapon mods. Oh, cool. Repair. Condition 90%. How do I? Oh, I, I can pay her a hundred and repair it. No, thank you. All right. And I walk back here and no one cares. All right. Piano. Anyone around? I should save. I haven't saved in a while. Whoops. I feel like we're gonna soon discover if, you know, stealing and stuff has any negative effects in this game. 
so far doesn't <laughs> and that makes it you know a bit more interesting for me a thiefy kind of player i think every player just steals everything i mean if if erica is anything to go by everyone's just gonna steal stuff <laughs> Deal. <laughs> I am, I am. Can I just sleep? Ooh. I need to sleep. Get all the loot. You guys. You're supposed to be good people and not... Ooh, this toilet. No! Uh, you're supposed to be good influences, not, not bad influences. Oh, wow. I actually... It's not high texture. No, it, it is. High resolute. Kind of. I like it though. There's something about this texture that I just like. It's flat, but I like it. Is it flat? It is. I like it though. <laughs> Rods likes a texture. Confirmed. Crazy. I like the slower pace of this game. We haven't had too many, oh. too many. Isn't there something sparking up here? Is it up there? We haven't had like a lot of. Oh, this is happening now. That's happening. It's not like a game like Doom or something like that. And I appreciate that. I'm much more into slower games. You get to explore. You get to look around, talk to people. That's much more my speed. I. That's why I always enjoy a good RPG. Because you still get to, you know, have some action, have some combat. But you get to do what I am much more interested in. Which, again, is... These bathrooms are terrible. Which is the RPG side of things. Hmm. I wish you could do something to try to hack yourself. Like a mini game type thing. I do enjoy that. And the mini game just gets incredibly hard if it's a hard lock. I like having it be more, you know, on you instead of just the stats for things like that. Cannery. But again, this town is huge. This is the first town we're in. I cannot tell you. Like, I know that there are going to be more towns, and... Oh. Guillaume Antrim. They... Wanting from Spacer's Choice Department of Retirement a writ of execution. Effective immediately, Guillaume Antrim, former Space... Spacer's Choice Associate Mechanic, terminated from his position and escorted from Edgewater on grounds of unauthorized use of Adrena time. Wanted for destruction of company property, murder of company workers in good standing, theft, and unauthorized use of medical supplies. I like that. It's murder of company what, company workers in good standing. The, bad, the ones in bad standing. No one cares. Generous bounty. Payment on delivery. Must be able to sign your own name. See Constable Reyes. My name suddenly doesn't sound so ridiculous. Bert Bertie Cotton. From Spacer's Choice Department of Retirement. A writ of execution effective immediately. Bert Colt Cotton. Former vicar. Stationed in Edgewater. Vicarage no longer in good standing with the Halcyon Branch Order of Scientific Inquiry. At large and dangerous, wanted for destruction of company property, murder of company workers in good standing, uh, sedition, and unauthorized use of medical supplies, generous bounty, da -da -da, see Constable Reyes. All right. So this, Doc Mabel. Wanted, Doc Mabel Bur Burgess. Bur Burris? Bur no, Burgess. Burgess. 
Uh, the Space Choice of Execution of uh, a former Space Choice physician condemned on charges of dereliction of duty disappeared from Edgewater with two parcels of adrenotime, adrenotime at large and dangerous. Wanted for destruction of company property, murder, company workers, vandalism, unlicensed practice of medicine, uh, sed seditious criminals, generous bounty, constable rights. I like that they capitalize all the important people and all the important words in the message. So if you are just Almost really trying to get the information out of it, you just nothing I can do it. about that. Look at those glasses. Hello, sir. Somebody's been oh, you're not a sir at all. Ship. Wonder what that's about. Spacer's choice takes care of its own. What's this? Oh, this is a constable. All right. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break, and I will be right back.